what's going on YouTube it's your boy it's Andre in this video I'm gonna share with you guys how to create a Facebook conversion ad so there's a lot of people always ask me you know how to set up Facebook conversion ads because I've been setting up ads and for some reason I'm not getting any sales I'm not getting any leads so in this video I'm gonna show you guys step by step how to create Facebook conversion ads all right so I'm gonna dive into things right away so watch this video till the end because it's going to be packed with a lot of value all right so before i even share anything about facebook and a lot of people don't know that how facebook works i'm just going to bring this up a little bit it's all about retargeting you guys you have to keep retargeting right and if you do have a budget you want to make sure that you don't just go below it on your very first ad and believe it or not, the first ad that you create, it's probably going to be, you know, it's probably going to suck. <laughs> you know, that's how it is. And you just got to realize that you have to test, 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 try different things, see what works for you, see which one is going to convert, and always set up like multiple ad accounts. I mean, ad sets, not ad accounts. Set up multiple ad sets, and then just close the ones that are not performing well. I have other videos about uh, Facebook on this YouTube channel. So if this is your first time, hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification, and let me know if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, all right? I always wanna know. So let me know if this helps. So the very first thing, I always go to Audience Insight, right? So you go to Audience Insights, if you guys don't know, um, you always type in the word business here, of course, where the www dot is. Uh, type in the, the word business and it will just pull up right away and then I'll just go here and then I find business uh, the business area and then I'll fi find audience insight so what audience insight audience insights basically shows you everything about your ideal customer right so if you're doing weight loss you're trying to target moms you're trying to target dads you're trying to target electrician right um, anybody who's in the workforce or anything, Facebook actually knows a lot of data and they give you the information because Facebook wants you to win. How do you think they make their money from us as advertisers, from us as like, you know, people who run ads. So that's how they make money from huge company and everything. So that's why they allow people to sign up for a free account. But a lot of people are like, oh yeah, so how does Facebook make money is from marketers and huge companies so what's gonna happen is they're gonna find everything you want to make sure that right you want to set this up change your age them um, you know the demographic that you want to go for click men or women who you're trying to target for most people who are doing Shopify or whatever it is some of you probably gonna want to go like worldwide if you want or pick tier one countries that you know people will actually take action and buy your stuff Right, so I always go for tier one countries are like United States, Canada, Australia, England. You know, Isle, you know, Isle of Pines, uh, Ireland. Those kind of places. You know, all those tier one countries I always try to target. Right. So yeah, you can go for tier one target, or you can go for worldwide. It all depends what it is that you're trying to advertise, or what it is that you're trying to market. If you're in an affiliate marketer and you want to sell your products and services, yeah, you want to definitely go for tier one countries, right? So you set this up, you do everything, you change this, change it to, you know, people who's willing to spend money 25 years and up, right? Pick an age demographic interest. You can find interest. So as you can see, Facebook is giving you every, anything. So let's say you're in the fitness niche, right? And you're trying to target people with, that physical exercise, you know, physical fitness, you know, they like to run, weight training, all that kind of stuff. So let's say you're doing like a weight trainer. You know, you're trying to find people who's doing weight training because that's the product you're trying to sell, right? Weight training. You got that set up, right? The next thing you want to do is, you know, look and see the type of pages that these people like. I always try to look at the different pages, you know, look at them see what they're you know what they like I, I normally like click on them go look at those pages and see if there's a lot of engagement on there right 
So if there's a lot of engagement, E to perform female, the female hard body, you know, beach body, of course, everybody knows what beach body is. So I look at their page, their fan page, and see if they're, they're having a lot of engagement, a lot of people commenting, sharing. So those are the pages that I normally target, right? So let's say you want to go with beach body. I will type in here people who you know are interested in beach body. So I'll click on here, right? And then I'm sure it's gonna it's gonna go down for a little bit, right? Still 15 to 20 million active members. And I'll just go through here, see the kind of activity that they do. I'd like to comment, you know, you look at this. 36, they click on ad. So you definitely want to definitely go for a conversion ad. So you click on here. All right, you can use either one. One is for Chrome browser, and the other one, if you have a Mac, it doesn't matter. So you pull it up. Right? So you pull it up, you all set, ready to go. So let's say, right, you'll probably see this show up because I'm not running on I'm just using a dummy ad so conversion ad this is what you want to click on all right so you click on conversion all right so once you click on conversion ad right down here you know always read and a lot of people don't read that's why things you know their ad account or whatever it is trying to shut down because one they don't read the Facebook ad policy and it's there read the Facebook ad policy it is free you know, go through it. It doesn't take that much. Rather, you go through it and then you do something wrong and then they close down your ad account. All right, so you read through here and see where they're trying to advertise yourself. Here, you want to change this to whatever it is that you're going to remember. So let's say you're doing, you know, fitness ad. Or you can call it fitness ad if you want. Down here, you can create like split tests. So what this means that you can have the same ad going out to two different audiences. If you have no idea what that is, right? So you, you want to split test, test, optimize your budget, right? So you can do all that. You can click on here. It's going to split test your ad if that's what you want. And then you can click continue. I always split test my ads because I want to make sure that the ad is running, right? So as you can see, like my total budget is like right here. Like if I if I schedule it for for like between December eighth, which is probably today, and December twelfth, it's gonna split test. So the daily budget will be like two hundred and sixty four dollars. Now for the people who are just starting out, you just don't want to start to do an ad at two hundred and sixty four dollars a day if you have zero clue about Facebook ads and if you're brand new, you want to make sure you start off with at least $3 or $5 a day. It's okay. Test, test, test before you actually do anything, right? This is showing how to create a pixel, right? If you guys don't know what, how to create a pixel, you can just click on it, right? Click on create a pixel, right? Call it whatever name, put the website or the landing page or the capture page that you want Facebook to track. Pixel is one of the most effective thing. It's on Google, it's on Instagram, it's on any form of advertising. You want to use Pixel because when you have a Pixel, Facebook is going to start to go around and try to find the people that take action, meaning they put their email address in, you know, they sign up for something, they buy something. So Facebook is going to say, all right, here is a group of people that like yourself. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put your ad over here because this is what I'm picking up that your ads are targeting. So that's why it's good to have a pixel so you can keep track, right? So you could just click on here. Probably going to create another video on how to create a pixel. So make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, all right? So let's say you do that. You add your website and everything. It's all set, ready to go. So again, if your daily budget is let's say your daily budget is gonna be 50. You're gonna do 25, 25. Or your daily budget is gonna be 10, right? 25, 25. Or your daily budget is gonna be five. 
right? So it's going to be 250, 250. So you do that, you split it, and then you can see even split, right? Even split, not a problem. Set start date. If you want to set a start date and an end date, that's okay if that's what you want to do. Or you can click on where it says here, you know, continue running a winning ad if you if 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 it if it's found, right? And it says end the test early if a winning ad set is found. So you could do all that. Right? Not a problem with that if you want to do that. Right? So Facebook is actually helping you set it up. So you can split tests over like a month. Well, not really a month. But if you're going to use the start start date and the end date, you definitely want to make sure you, you know, give it some time. Give it like a, a week. But when I say give it a week, you're not going to kill your ads, right? You know, you can you can kill your ads the um, two days when you start it, the next day. So always check it, especially when you do split testing. Now, if you're going to raise your limit and you start to go like, you know, after you figure it out and you start to go like, you know, $50 a day or $100 a day split test. Yeah, you want to make sure you check that ad, you know, like in the next, you know, six hours, 12 hours, and then you shut it down, turn it off and keep the one that's winning. So let's click continue. All right, um, it says an error found, All right? So let's go with audience. Yeah, let's do that. Audience, choose an audience. That's what I did already. All right, so it's telling me to choose an audience. So let's say this, I'm gonna split test this from like 30 and up, All right? So there we go. So split tests, meaning you're going to be running the same ad, but you got to adjust it a little bit, right? So it's basically going after the same thing. So let's say you want to do, you know, 30 and higher. And this one, you want to do 25 and higher to see which one works. Or you could just change one or two things from just one of them. This one, you probably do weight training. And this one, you do weight training or bodybuilding, right? So hope you guys understand what I'm trying to tell you, right? So you can test another ad set, meaning you can add another one. So for me, when I do conversion ads, I do like four, five, even 10 of them, right? So I'll set an ad, not for 500 bucks, right? But I test it like, I'll put like $50 and split test like 10 different ads. So that way I see which one is, is running and then I'll just shut down the other ones. Because anyone that is kicking off, that's what you want to do. Especially if you guys are doing e-commerce, Shopify, or affiliate marketing, test, test, test. So you want to click continue. Once you click continue, here you can choose your, you know, the fan page you're going to use. So I got a bunch of different fan pages that I could pick. So you pick the fan page, pick your Instagram. If you're going to use that same ad, run it on both Facebook and Instagram. It's not going to give you two different prices, the same price. You know, that's so cool about it that you can run an ad and it goes to like, you run on both platforms. So that's why people are winning, people are killing it. You always wanna put a name here as well, you know, add whatever it is that you're trying to put in. And you have carousel ad, you have single ad, you have single image, you have single video, whatever thing. So let's say for people who are want to create a, let's say a Shopify store, right? Single ad is good. I mean, single image, you know, single video is always good. Video is always great. Slideshow videos are always good. You know, if you want to put like four or five and people want to do affiliate marketing, of course, video is powerful, right? If you're in the biz op niche and of course, single ad. And for the people that are in like health and wellness, videos are, is always good and single ad. So you can also do slideshow as well, but slideshow Mm, I don't think it's going to work well. And for people in fitness, Instagram is crushing it because pictures are there. People like Instagram. So you can run that ad, a single image ad that will run on Facebook and also on Instagram. All right. So that's a huge nugget for you guys right there as well. And then, you know, when you come down here, you put your text, whatever you want to write, you know, um, 
you can basically say, I lost eight pounds in eight days. Want to know how? Right? Something like that. You have to do like some really attractive call to action. And I created a, a video the other day about how marketing works, right? So marketing, how it works, you gotta make sure that you pre-frame people. Always pre-frame them on your ad. You don't have to be the best at ad copy, but pre-frame them when they come in, they're gonna see a video or a thank you page or whatever it is. And then you slowly start to get them going in. Don't forget to make sure you set up an autoresponder so you can follow up with your customers because they're gonna submit their email, all right? And then you put your website here, you put your ad copy there. Once you do that, you know, make sure this is all set up and all you gotta do is just click confirm. Once you click confirm, um, set it, but don't forget it. Set it and make sure you check it, right? So set an alarm on your phone or if you're busy at work or somebody who's, you know, don't have a lot of time during when you set it up. Just set it at a time, put an alarm on your phone, make sure it goes off, and then when you get home, make sure you check it because you don't wanna let it run because remember, you're doing conversion ads and you're split testing, let's say 10 different ads. So that's like the basic general, how to set up a, a converting ad that works. And I hope this video helps. If you guys like this video, Show some love as always. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching. All right, have a great day. Peace.